Electric cars seem to be the future of motoring. New ones are popping up like weeds, and every manufacturer is working on their own lineup of new EVs. And today we are going to take a look at some of the new EVs that are on their way and will become available in the next few years. Let's start this list off with a Lotus. Bet you didn't expect to hear Lotus and electric in the same sentence. But this Lotus is a little different to how Lotus normally builds their sports cars. You see, Lotus normally builds ultra lightweight cars that have smallish engines, but because of how low the weight is, the power to weight ratio is still good. This one is quite a bit different. You see, it is powered by four electric motors, so it is heavy, but it makes 2000 horsepower and 1700 newton meters of torque. No clue on actual performance numbers, but I expect this thing to be stupid fast. They are expected to release in late 2021 with a low price of $2.1 million. Now to something a little more accessible, a BMW. Now BMW has a few, well technically two electric cars, the tiny i3 and the i8. Yes, the i8 is a hybrid, but it did use an electric power plant. In other words, they do have a little experience in this field. But with their all new i4, they are going to use a fully electric power plant that is rumored to make right around 530 horsepower and it will be available in both rear wheel and a four wheel drive variant. BMW has also said that the i4 will do 0 to 62 in just 4 seconds and will have a range of about 300 miles. The i4 does also support fast charging and with a 150 kilowatt charger, you can get the battery from 0 to 80% in just 35 minutes. The i4 is expected to release in late 2021. Now from one German giant to another. The Audi Q4 and Q4 Sportback e-tron. The Q4 fits in between the Q3 and Q5 and it's a sharp looking compact SUV. You will get the Q4 on a Sportback version as well. This looks really nice but you will probably lose headroom and boot space because of the sloping roof. But I mean, look at that ass. I mean, rau. I would give up some practicality for that design. Anyways, base models will start with a 201 horsepower electric motor and a 77 kilowatt hour battery pack. And there will also be a all wheel drive model that will be offered with a 300 horsepower motor and a range of 250 miles. The Q4 and Q4 Sport Pack is expected somewhere in 2021. Now for something weird. This is the Canoe pickup truck. Yes, it doesn't look like any other truck. This is the definition of making a truck that looks like CGI. It doesn't look like a real truck. Canoe promises 600 horsepower and over 700 newton meters of torque. And on a full charge, the range is claimed to be 200 miles, which isn't great. The canoe is tiny for a mid-sized pickup truck, but it will be available with a 6 foot or 8 foot bed. I don't personally know if I like the design, but it is different. Now the canoe pickup truck will be available in 2024. Now to Genesis. Genesis is a new luxury brand that was created in 2015 as Hyundai's upscale spin-off. It ambitiously aims to battle the likes of BMW, Mercedes and Lexus. Now, Genesis has two EVs in the works, the Electrify G80 and the Essentia, which we will talk about later. There aren't many details available on the G80 yet, but we know it's supposed to have up to 310 miles of range, fast charging capability and all-wheel drive as standard. Hopefully it's on sale by late 2021, but it is possible that we won't see it until next year. Now this Essential is even further out, but I had to mention it. This is a Hot Wheel. The design is so out there and I love it. In my opinion, this is the best looking Hyundai ever. Not that that is a difficult title to take. Now, Hyundai invested $90 million in the creation car maker Rimac, which specializes in battery powered electric supercars. If you don't know about Rimac, I have an entire video on them and their new Nevera. I'll leave a pop up. But let's just say they are insanely fast, like in the fastest accelerating car on the planet fast. Now for a brand I'm pretty sure you've never heard of before, a Spark. The a Spark Owl is the first of what the Japanese EV maker promises will be a lineup of high dollar hypercars. She will produce 1984 horsepower from four electric motors. A Spark also claims a top speed of 250 miles per hour. Price for this Japanese hypercar? 
How does $3.2 million sound? Units will be limited to 50 worldwide and deliveries are expected to begin in 2021. Now to a high-end SUV. This is the Bollinger B1 and the high-end part wasn't a joke. They are expected to be priced at $125,000 before options. Both SUV and truck are claimed to offer 614 horsepower and 670 foot-pounds of torque with a 4.5 second 0 to 60. The Bollinger B1 has a 120 kilowatt hour battery pack and it is said to offer a range of 200 miles, which again isn't too impressive. The SUV also claims another title. This is the ugliest SUV on the road. I feel like I can build a better looking truck out of Lego. This is the car every boy draws at the age of 6, especially the truck variant. I mean just look at the side profile. Anyways, the Bollinger is expected to release in 2022. Now this is just a few of the EVs coming, there are many more so if you like this video let me know and I will make a part 2. But for now you can go through my channel I've got many more videos, list videos, videos on specific cars, many of the cars that we mentioned and talked about today has their own entire video so just go through my channel there will be some stuff you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers I.